Friday Night Worship. My name is Aaliyah, and I am part of the Taurus Adventure Club at Toronto Central. Tonight, we will be highlighting the story of the Samaritan woman. The story of the Samaritan woman, also known as the woman at the well, is an important and heartwarming story from the Bible that can be found in the, in the Gospel of John, chapter 4. This story teaches us about kindness, acceptance, and the power of God's love. We pray that as you watch tonight's worship service, that the story of the Samaritan woman reflects with you and leaves you with a blessing. Would you do service for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you give daily his praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder-working power in the blood of the Lamb. There is power, power. The working power in the precious blood of the Lamb. Would you serve us for Jesus, your King? There's power in the blood, power in the blood. Would you use his praises to sing? There's wonderful power in the blood. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the land. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the land. Power, power, wonder working power in the blood. Of land. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the land. I brought the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart. Down in my heart, I brought the joy, 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 joy down in my heart, down in my heart to say, and I'm so happy, so very happy, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart, and I'm so happy, so very happy, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart, down in my heart, down in my heart. I've got the love of Jesus, love of Jesus down in my heart, down in my heart to stay. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. I'm so happy, so very happy. I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. And I'm so happy. So very happy, I've got the love of Jesus in my heart. We are adventurers, at home, at school, at play. We are adventurers, we're learning every day to be honest, kind, and true, to be like Jesus through and through. We are adventurers. We are adventurers, at home, at school, at play. We are adventurers, we're learning every day to be honest, kind, and true, to be like Jesus through and through. We are adventurers.
Because Jesus loves me, I will always do my best. <laughs> but whoever drinks the water I give them will never thirst. Indeed, the water I give them will become in them. A spring of water willing up to eternal life. John 4 verse 14. Hello, my name is Elijah, and tonight I'll be talking about the Samaritan woman at the well. We'll find the story in John 4 verses 5 to 42. One day, Jesus and his friends were on a long walk. They were traveling a long way from home, and it was hot, and Jesus was tired. Jesus said, I'm going to sit here by this well. He told them, how about you go to town and grab us some food? So there he sat, hot, tired, and thirsty. About lunchtime, a woman came up the road with her empty water jar. People in that place didn't have faucets with running water in their homes. They had to walk to the well and bring home the water they needed for the day. That was like a lot of work. But usually, groups of people would go to the well together. It was hard work. But they, but that way, they could talk with them, with their friends, and make the best of it. And usually, they came early when the day was still cool. But this woman came all alone, and at the hottest time of the day. When she got there, Jesus talked to her. First, he asked her to help him get some water to drink. Then he talked about, he talked with her about a whole lot of other things. The woman was very surprised that Jesus talked to her. She thought, why is this man being so friendly to me? He's from another country. The country from Judea. I'm from the country of Samaria. People from our country are enemies. They hate each other. He shouldn't be talking to them. But Jesus was still friendly and kind to her. She also thought, why is this man still being so friendly to me? He's a man. woman if they are relatives. He shouldn't be talking to me. But Jesus was still friendly and kind to her. She also thought again, why is this man being so friendly to me? Nobody likes me. Everybody thinks I'm a bad person. That's why I've come to the well, alone, in the hottest part of the day. If he knew about me, he would never be talking to me. But Jesus knew all about her. And Jesus was friendly and kind to her. Jesus was kind to all kinds of people. If people from other countries, Jesus was kind to them. If people were different from them, as women and men are different, Jesus was still kind to them. If people were unpopular and other people were mean to them, Jesus was still kind to them. The story of the Samaritan woman shows how Jesus was friendly and kind to everyone, even though the woman was from a different country and people usually didn't like each other. Jesus talked to her. He didn't care that she was a woman and he was a man or that other people didn't like her. Jesus showed us that we should be kind and friendly to everyone no matter where they come from and what others think about them. But there's something even more important. Jesus taught the woman. He told her that he could give her living water. This means that only Jesus can give us what we really need to be happy and full of inside. Just like water quenches our thirst, Jesus can make our hearts feel better and give us true happiness. This story also teaches us that everyone deserves kindness and love, just like Jesus showed the Samaritan woman. And Jesus alone could quench our deepest thirsts. Just like this. Bye.
Tonight we learn that even though Jesus and the Samaritan woman were from different places that did not get along, Jesus still showed compassion and kindness towards her. The woman was amazed by what Jesus said. She learned that Jesus knew all about her life. And even though she had made some mistakes, he still cared about her. This made her feel very special and loved. After talking with Jesus, the woman was so excited that she ran back to her city to tell everyone about him. Because of her, many people came to meet and believe in him. This story shows us that Jesus loves and cares for everyone, no matter who they are or what they have done. It's also teaching us to be kind and to share this good news about Jesus with others. As you go through the week, always remember that Jesus loves you. Jesus, Lord, I thank you for all that you've done for us. Thank you for this day. Thank you for everyone watching today. Lord, I thank you for this service, Lord. As we are about to close, thank you for the Sabbath day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.